Okay, so in this video, what we need to do is sketch each of these transformed um, reciprocal trig graph. So in the, in the first one here, we've got y equals cosec of 3x, and we're going to sketch it between 0 and 2 pi. So that's a stretch parallel to the x-axis factor 1 third. Okay, so the cosec curve usually has a period of 2 pi, uh, but now, of course, it's going to repeat three times within that. So, let's try and draw this. Now, cosec is 1 over sine, okay? So, sine is 0 at 0, 180, uh, and 360, okay? Or 0 pi and 2 pi. So, because that's going to be uh, stretched by a factor of a third, we're going to have um, asymptotes at 0, at pi over 3, and at 2 pi over 3. Okay, and these asymptotes are going to appear every pi over 3. So, so that's your pi. Then we've got uh, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, and then finally 2 pi. Now let's uh, draw on a line for 1 and 1 for minus 1. Now, the um, sine curve, okay, um, if it was sine of 3x, would look like this, okay? So here would be our pi over 6. So at this point, we have our first part of the curve. Now, this... Um, will get us 2 pi over 6, so this is 3 pi over 6, or pi over 2. I should really draw it up there. Okay, so there's second part. Then we're over here, so that's our 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6. So at this point here, then we're going to have 6 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, so here, okay, then we can have 8 pi over 6, then we've got 9 pi over 6, or 9 pi over 6 is uh, 3 pi over 2, I should really say. So that's that point there. I haven't drawn that one too well. So 9 pi over 6, 10 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6. So there. And that's my curve. Okay, so that is what uh, cosec of 3x looks like between 0 and 2 pi. Okay? Right. Oh, pop that on as well. Okay, so that would be number one. So, number two, sec x plus one. So this is a translation of sec uh, by the vector zero, one. Okay, so... Um, Sec x is 1 over cos. Now, cos is um, 0 at 90, and then again at 270. So we're going to have an asymptote at 90. Then we've got 180. Then we're going to have this asymptote at 270. Then we've got 360. Then we've got an asymptote 
450, etc. Oh, I should be doing this in the radian, shouldn't I? So pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. Okay. And then we get the 2 pi. So we've got pi here and 2 pi there. I don't need to go any further. Right. So then, now because sec x plus 1, okay, so that's shifting the whole graph up 1. So we're going to have, because the... We've got that curve that comes like this. It's at 1, and so we're going to have to be at 2. So the curve must start there and go up like that when we're at 0. And then the curve would ordinarily come down here. So that's where sec must now be. And then here... We've got this point at 2 pi, and so there's uh, the curve between 0 and 2 pi, translated 1 up, okay? So that's number 2. So the last one is number 3, y equals cot of x over 2. So that's a stretch by factor 2 parallel to the x-axis. Okay, so, so we know that tan uh, is 0 at 0, then at 180, then at 360, etc. Okay, or 0 pi 2 pi. So that's going to be stretched along. So we'll still have this asymptote for cot at 0. But the one that is at 180 degrees, or pi, will be now at 2 pi. Okay, so pi somewhere between. So the curve, as we know for tan, okay, um, is positive then negative, so the cot curve is positive and then negative between 0 and 2 pi, okay? So that is what the curve would now look like. So it's actually now got this period of uh, 2 pi rather than pi because it's been stretched by this factor 2 parallel to the x-axis.